Intercession came out of him and became a literal being. Oh, oh God. But what do you do when the intercessor turns on you? Somebody help me today. Somebody stop me today, as the man the mask said, Jim Carrey. <laughs> but I'm in the zone, and it ain't all zone right now. What do you do when one of your innocents turn away? You? Uh, what do you do? I need y'all to understand. That because of the position that you've given, the assignment that you have been given, you better watch it. Because he would love to do that. He would love to do that. See, Eve came out of him. She was in him. So she was in her, a part of him. Knew him best. There's nothing worse than when someone that knew you best now becomes an opposing force against you. Y'all better hear me. Hmm. But see, if the Lord give me strength, this is me, Delphine. This is my prayer, and this is what I ask y'all to pray for me as well. If the Lord shall give me strength, and I humbly ask him to, I pray that I don't eat the fruit. Because Eve presented the fruit to Adam. I pray that I don't eat the fruit. That I have sense enough to not let your fall pull me into a fall. Because he didn't have to eat that fruit. Now I ain't going to cause a separation between them because death was on her. Mm -hmm. Because a sentence had to be pronounced on her. You understand? Mm -hmm. See, a sentence has to be pronounced on the person that will rise up against you. Right. The person that lets the serpent gets into the ear. The intercessor that goes backwards. The fallen angel. Remember when Satan was cast out of heaven, he took a third with him, right. and the Bible calls them fallen angels. Okay. So then there is a death sentence that was pronounced on them for their falling. Mm -hmm. So there is a sentence that will be pronounced on anybody that will rise up against you. I'm just trying to help y'all win in life. See, you'll know how to fight and how to keep your mouth closed, understand, and how to stay out of stuff. Let people make fools out themselves, see. I said I pity the fool, right? I don't know y'all, that's it. Winning in life, part three. I pity the fool, you can call it that. Okay, so therefore, my prayer is, is that when the fruit is presented to me, that I don't eat the fruit. Do you hear me now? Because see, it can be presented to you in two different ways. It can be presented to you, first way, is in a way of that was his wife. So he thought it was okay to eat because that was his wife. So see, they can come to you in a form of pretending like they all right. I done told y'all, I told y'all the other week about friends and associates. I told y'all, see, if you listen, you better write notes, go back and take notes, y'all, because all this stuff is a manifest. All of it now. So if they can come to you, she went and presented it to her husband. Now take to mind now, she had come forth out of him, so he thought this was someone he could trust. Yeah. So she comes bringing him some food that he thought was okay for him to eat because this is who he usually eat from. But this is the thing about it. Huh? God help your servant. I'm going in there today. But this is the thing about it. You better watch the activity of what it be and where they got their food from. 
Because if they done got their food from a contaminated place, Ooh. you might want to turn that plate down. You about to explode. Uh, 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 <laughs> Holy Ghost is only powerful. He only powerful, y'all. I'm telling you now, y'all be throwing out warning left and right. When I tell you these ain't nothing but warning, he throwing them left and right, man. He throwing them left and right. Because See, the enemy would love to do a mass wipeout. I don't see Amen. it. He would love Amen. to do a mass wipeout. Amen. He, you know, yeah. he's not ready to snatch a few that are playing a little bit, but he really want to do a mass wipeout. That's what he want to do. He want to shut it down. That's what he want to do. You know, he know he can't do nothing with me. I do it. If I do it by myself, I'll do it. Cause I'm trained. Y'all better be careful. Cause uh, <laughs> like this boy on Facebook, I be watching sometimes. He said, stuff done jumped off and got deep. <laughs> 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 you better hear what I'm saying to you now. It just jumped off and got deep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I didn't realize I get off in <laughs> deep stuff like this. <laughs> okay, so Eve now, <laughs> Adam, <laughs> he thought she was fine, so he ate that fruit, and it took him too. Yeah. See, I told y'all he recruits. <laughs> <laughs> he recruits. <laughs> Don't let him fool you now. <laughs> Don't let him fool you. I'm telling you, he recruits. Yeah. He looks for who is a sucker to it. Mm-hmm. He loves and he's going to always go where he knows you weak. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, where the weakness area mm-hmm. is. And so evidently, Adam was a man that was weak at the grocery. Remember now, mm-hmm. Jacob stole Esau with some what? Groceries. Mm-hmm. See? <laughs> So you got to be careful. <laughs> See? And so Eve goes to him with this fruit and he eats it. My prayer is, is that they can't come to me in a manner of trying to pretend like they are all right. But they really ain't all right. See? I told y'all last week discernment had to kick in. Them. I prayed real hard last week about that. Y'all remember that? Last week, real, real, real hard about our discernment. Because you better know what you're dealing with. <laughs> you got to know when to hold on. Know when to fall on. Know when to walk away. Know when to run. You never count your money. While you're sitting at the table, there'll be time enough for counting. When the deal is done. <laughs> Second way that the enemy will show up. First way he comes, he pretends like he's with you in order to entice you to get the food. Second way will come to take you out of character, which means they'll challenge you in some type of way. You know what I'm saying? Try to provoke you into some type of argument or fight. I'm praying I don't eat it. Yeah. I, I think I already experienced some of that earlier this week. That was trying uh, to, an uh, uh, element of trying to provoke. You know, and I don't want the fruit. <laughs> I came to the table full. See, if you deal with people full, you won't want them to eat. See? Stop going around people hungry. <laughs> Stop going around them hungry. I go, I'm on food. No, no, I just ate. <laughs> Say, well, you can't put nothing in me. I just ate. No, I ain't hungry. I ain't hungry for nothing you got to say. I ain't thirsty for nothing you put out there. You understand? Because that's a bunch of bull or crap. But see, if you go around hungry and thirst for that junk, 
then you will let them serve you that junk. I ain't hungry for it. I ain't thirsty for it, so I don't want it. I came to the table for it. So they go one or two ways. And you got to be careful when it shows up. Because of it getting in her ear, it destroys a whole family. Whole family, whole lineage. Now her children gotta suffer. Firstborn kids, one would kill the other. See, on the account of what their mama did. Dangerous. Very dangerous. Be very careful, y'all. Very careful. There's intercessors. Those angels that fell, angels were created by who? God. They were created by God for God to serve God. The scripture says even now that angels are around the throne of God continually crying holy. Holy. So that's what they're crying. That's why you hear we sing with the angels. That's when people pass away, they say they're singing with the angels now. Because they're continually crying holy. So they were created in an effort to respect God. Do you hear me? They were created to respect God. Any of you that are assigned to my life and assigned to be a part of Trim are put here to respect the house and to respect me. Okay? But this would be the assignment of the enemy to get you to not do that. He got a third of them to not do it, didn't he? This is what I just said. He got a third of them to what? Not do it. By them having conversation. By them having conversations. Our conversations can determine what we do. Our conversations. Do you know that you can have a conversation with a person? And they can tell you about somebody that you have not ever encountered. And you will already have some kind of preconceived notion about that person based off a conversation you let somebody put in your ear. Right. You ain't ever met them personally. Mm -hmm. And could be the best thing for you. Mm -hmm. But because you let conversation get in your ear. Notice what the conversation did to Eve. Let's talk about the things it robbed from her. It robbed her position of obedience. Because prior to that, she was walking in obedience. So, allowing the serpent to talk to you can take you from obedience. Hmm? Mm. Let's talk about the second thing I see in that. Now, I'm going to give y'all what I see in that. Y'all know I see, you know, I go in that baby. The second thing I see that that serpent talking to Eve, Eve allowing that serpent to talk to her and what it caused her to do, one was obedient, disobedience. Second thing was, was it caused her to operate in a spirit of deception? Because who did she deceive? Us. She went and deceived her husband. She fed him something from a contaminated place. She knew she was contaminated. She knew. Let me tell you how I know she knew. She knew she was going against what God had said when she did. So if I know that I'm going against what God has said, and I still do it, then I know that I'm a deceiver. Mm -hmm. She had a full conversation with him. 
He says, she told him first. She said, the Lord said we ain't supposed to eat of it.